come to order. The Honorable Willie Snooze presiding. You may be seated. Case number 3141592 B. The People versus Josiah, Abel, and Seth. Sons of Jacob, shepherds of Bethlehem. They are charged with disorderly conduct and disturbing the peace. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Not guilty, Your Honor. Not guilty, Your Honor. Prosecutor, you may call your first witness. <clears throat> I call Sophia Busybody. Raise your right hand and place your left hand on the scroll. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. State your name. Sophia Busybody. Ms. Busybody, please tell the court where you were on the night in question. Well, I was sound asleep in my snug little bed, minding my own business. For once in her life when I heard this terrible panic at the door. Those three lunatics. Objection. Sustained. Just the facts, man. <clears throat> well, they were so rough and dirty and they smelled like soggy sheep and they were running around, waking everyone up, shouting, the savior is born. What a commotion. They should be locked up. Objection. Sustained. I have no more questions for this witness. Cross-examine? Not at this time, Your Honor. I call Mrs. Godalotta. Do you promise? Of course, honey. Mrs. Lotta, please tell us what happened on the night in question. Well, I had a dreadful start in the middle of the night. A group of ruffians came pounding at the outer gate. I sent my servant to go get rid of them. But instead, they abducted him and forced him to go with them to, with them to a musty, dirty stable to see some peasant's baby. There is no place for their kind in our community. They're a menace to society. Objection. Sustained. Well, I'm finished with this witness anyway, Your Honor. No further questions. I call Dr. Sigmund Fruitcake, a non-psychiatrist and expert in the field of angelic delusion. Do you promise? Yeah, 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 whatever. Dr. Fruitcake, have you examined these defendants? Yes, I could not get them to stop talking. They were highly agitated, and all three of them reported angelic visions. Such delusions are not uncommon among shepherds, though. We suspect this is caused by inhaling, <laughs> by inhaling sheep breath. As you know, sheep have very poor dental hygiene. This condition is clinically known as halitosis psychosis. The symptoms are confusion, delusion, mania, and uncontrollable evangelism. And what is your opinion of the reported encounter with angels? And angels certainly won't talk to these ignorant shepherds. It is my professional opinion that there are several camels shy of a full
Both here again. No further questions. Cross-examine. Yes, Your Honor. Doctor, do you believe that an angel would appear to the smartest person around? Certainly. Those angels, they are no dummies. Do you know the story of Balaam? Tell us, Doctor. Who saw the angel first? Was it Balaam or was it his donkey? Objection! Overruled. Prosecution rests, Your Honor. Are you ready to present your case for the defense? Yes, Your Honor. For my first witness, I call Josiah, son of Jacob. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth? It is God's truth I'm telling, of course. Now, Josiah, where were you on the night in question? I was on the hillside near the city of Bethlehem watching my father's sheep. Then a dazzling light showed up in the sky. We were so scared, we, ducked, we went down and ducked our heads. We heard a voice. It said, don't be scared. We have good news for everybody. The Savior has been born in the city of David. You'll find him in a manger wrapped in cloths, sitting in a basket. Finally, I was brave enough to look up. I saw the sky full of angels and singing, singing and praising God. Yes, Your Honor. How many times in your life have you spoken to angels, Josiah? I didn't speak to them, they spoke to me. And do you really expect us to believe that God would send an angel to talk to you? I don't understand all of God. I'm, I don't understand all of God's ways, but I'm sure about what happened. I'm through with this witness. Several came a little short. I call Abel, son of Jacob. Abel, tell the court what happened next. Well, once the angels had gone away, my brothers and I decided to look for this holy baby. We searched and searched. Do you have any idea how many stables are in this town? But it was worth it. What do you mean? Well, it was just as the angel told us. We found the baby lying in a manger with animals all around it.
Yes. 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 baby's mother, Mary, had taken good care of him. She said the baby's name would be Jesus because he would save his people from their sins. I felt God's love all around me. It was as if God was in the stable with us right there. further questions? Um, no questions. I call Seth, son of Jacob. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? My mama says I wouldn't know how to tell a lie. Did you go to the stables with your brothers? Surely did. My mom calls me a tackle on because I follow them everywhere. And where did you go after you left the stables? We were so excited. We ran, jumped, skipped, and hollered. Like the angel said, this was good news. Mama said everyone should hear the good news. Still nobody's duck? No, I said abduct. Did you make anyone go with you to the stable? No, ma'am. We just told them about the angels and the Savior and all, and they just couldn't wait to go.
those are all the questions I have at this time. Cross-examine? Oh yes, Your Honor. Seth, you said you were jumping, skipping, and um, hollering. Did you make a lot of noise that night? Surely did, but we didn't mean no harm. Well, did you wake people up? Mama says there's a time for sleeping and a time for being wide awake. This was wide awake time for sure. Mm-hmm. So you were disturbing the peace, weren't you? There was enough peace in that stable for everybody in the whole wide world. Mama says God's love and peace should be shared. Your Honor, I don't think we need to take up any more of the court's time. You've just heard this defendant confess to disturbing the peace. I am inclined to agree with you. Does the defense attorney have any more witnesses before I make my decision? Yes, Your Honor. I've just received word that a foreign dignitary is in the courthouse. He has information concerning this case. Very well. Proceed. I call to the stand His Excellency Prince Balthazar, advisor to the governor of Persia. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Prince Balthazar, please tell the court how you serve the governor of Persia. I consult the stars and the happenings in the heavens. Then what brought you to Bethlehem? Some time ago, some other royal astronomers and I each observed the same new star. It announced the birth of a king right here in Judea. We followed that star to Bethlehem. found a baby with his mother in a house. We fell to our knees and worshiped him. We presented him with gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Afterwards, Mary told us about some shepherds that visited on the night Jesus was born. Have you seen these shepherds? No, but Mary told us they were dancing in the streets and singing praises to God. It seemed strange the whole nation didn't join them. The very creator of heaven and earth sent a star to lead people to the birthplace of Jesus. This course should be celebrating the birth of the king, not putting these men on trial. In light of this testimony, I ask that the charges against my clients be dismissed. Your Honor, I object. Objection overruled. Who are we to argue with God? God sent a star, maybe even angels, to announce the birth of this baby. Jesus must really be something special. We should all be jumping and shouting in the streets. Case dismissed.
please join us in singing, We Need a Little Christmas. 